and extra uh, scrolls. Let's see. You already know that. Raven Feebleman. I don't know if Carrot knows that spell. Either way, I'm going to have him keep it for the time being. Let's see, does he have an empty scroll case? Yeah. That's the one where he's going to put the spells he's going to try to learn. At least soon. Okay. What do you know? More spiders. Doesn't really seem like there's any end to them. Alright, let's try to... Just name what you want. Take out the small ones. You know... This reminds us is a role Beware. I am glad to play. Your knees are mine! Beware! Your knees are mine! For the Doom God, I strike a blow! Beware! Your knees are mine! Of course! Well, that wasn't so difficult. You're right behind me, right? Hmm. Just another entrance. I wouldn't dream of refusing. See, and down there led to southern dungeons. Oh, what's this? Good to see a like minded. At last you've arrived. These spiders were starting to make me nervous. Allow me to open these doors for you. Fleshy, go forth and open the doors. Now, you stupid creature. Now! Carrot, I trust you're prepared. Uh. Your blood is rather inviting. Fools! The mistress knew you would come. Fight then, and know you die for nothing. Uh oh. No! Stay back! Run! Oh, the Grim Warder got him. Oh, well, we got the Grim Order. Oh, there's more of them. Wow, they even have archers. Look out. Alright, well, let's weigh, weigh into them. What do you have on them? Staff mace. Staff mace. This weapon appears to be a normal large walking staff, but is a faint aura of alteration magic. Uttering the command word causes the staff to assume the attributes of a mace. I think it have to be wielded one handed. Appears to be a plus two weapon of some kind. Oh, that's interesting. Um, not really sure who of us could use it, but maybe I'll just give it to. Oh, wait, doesn't she already have a more powerful? Yeah, she does, actually. Um, okay then. <laughs> Whatever. Just, just hold on to it. Onward then. It is done. Very well. I, uh... I suppose everyone's ready for some real trouble, huh? At least I would hope so. Let's go inside and find out. <laughs> Come then, come to your doom. Dare you breach the inner sanctum? I think not. Uh, a mortal. Rawr. Oh wow, we're about to be flanked, aren't we? Get ready. Look out, Jira. Use the wand of the heavens. Where is that mist going? It went off in that direction. More vampires, look out! Oh crap, Minsk has been dominated. Looks like it doesn't protect against that! Alright, well, we need to find a way to stop that. Um... A fair game the dangerous. I wouldn't dream of refusing. Yes, yes. Alright, 
Alright, Minsk is definitely a danger while he's being dominated. Uh, and maybe you can dispel it off him. Spell magic on Minsk. You guys can help if you like. I mean, that would be great. Oh, he's still dominated. Even though we defeated the other one. Look out here, Delise. Cheer, try to keep Minsk distracted. Until he calms the hell down. Everyone else, <laughs> run and hide. Oh, hey, look, a ring. Yoink! <laughs> oh, there we go. Now he's back to normal. There's got to be a way to get around that. Actually, I think there is. It was one of the swords that we had. Maybe. No? Could have swore there was a sword that was really handy in helping with that. Got shields. Oh, nothing there. None of these. Nothing there. Daystar. I mean, that's useful against undead, which we're fighting now, so definitely have that at the ready. Dragon Slayer is more useful against dragons. Huh. Could have swore there was... Oh, wait, maybe it's this. A Jata the Drinker. Wielder immune to charm and domination spells. Haha, <laughs> perfect. Just what I'm looking for, actually. Give that to him. That to him. Okay, yeah, this... Now I'm starting to figure out what we need to do here. Okay, great. So we'll give this to Minsk, and then he will dual wield it. And with both of these swords at the ready, he should no longer be vulnerable to those kinds of attacks. Because that'll make him immune to their domination effects as well. Which will make Minsk a one-ran wrecking machine against vampires, and we'll also have him drink his potion to help him out in the fights to come. Alright. That should make him less of a risk whenever we have to uh, fight our enemies. You make pleasant company, my Rin. I'll be glad to tarry a while in your mind. Nope, that's not working on Minsk anymore. Oh, that looks like trouble, whatever she's doing. Oh, great, now he's stunned. Okay, this is trouble. Time to remove magic. Aaron, uh, something that's really gonna hurt these vampires, like Flame Arrow. Dance on the head of a bin as well. Um, we need something that's more effective against them, like acid arrows. Alright, well that one is toast. Alright, it looks like there's some heavy-duty magic going on over there. Uh, we're gonna try to go get past it with Oracle. Here it is going to... Summon up an Ifriti? No. Summon Monster 3. And try to shoot down that, and maybe confuse the rest of them as well. Yeah, there's the real one. Ah. Uh. He's got up a powerful protection against that. Alright, we need to start breaching then. Alright, I'm gonna work on breaching. There it is, going to... Uh, what can he do in this circumstance? 
Whatever you need, I do it well. They sing a little song. Ooh, Jahira is badly hurt. She's going to drink a healing potion and back away. Minsk is still sleeping, unfortunately. Alright, can she be hurt now? She can? What the? Oh, she's been mazed. Okay, she can come back from that, though. Alright, now is a good time, I think, to use the Sunray of Daystar. Keep trying to breach that shield. Oh, that did some damage, and it disrupted her spell. Oh, great. Frickin' Hair Delise has been dominated. Uh, let's see. Well, let's try to hold him so he can't cause any more trouble. Now, oh, there's gotta be something we can do here. Well, let's summon up some distractions. Oh wow, old monster seems to have worked. I can dance on the head of a Get out of there, Yoshimo. I think we make a fine partnership. Just as I thought, Dresden woke up. Elminster and Bolo. We should go into the mobile festival peddling business together. All right, trying to wear down her illusions that way. Trying to get the wyvern to stop talk attacking Hair Delise. Okay, Hair Delise is, uh, it's wore off. Hey, and we got her. Ugh. Oh, that was a hell of a fight. Um, Jahira? Minsk is still stunned. <laughs> what is this? Well, the wyvern should be able to fly out there with immunity, I would say. You are right behind me, right? Very well. Hiya. Oof! What a. Where shall I put Ugly little pit this is. I can dance on the head of a fleet of Ouch. Careful, bud. It's a hell of a nasty spike trap. Hey, welcome back. Good to see that you're still alive. I thought as much. And in one piece. There you go. Oh well that was a little messy, to say in the least. Oh goodness. Well, everyone is a little banged up at this point, but relatively okay. Alright, well that was pretty much a dead end filled with awful spiky traps. This looks a little suspicious over here. Hmm. Uh, nothing I can tell. Where might this lead? You must gather your party before venturing forth. Well, let's gather already then. Ooh, greater ghouls. That looks like trouble. Jump on my sword while you can. Well, oh, not that much trouble. As you would Nicely done, Jahira. I wouldn't dream of refusing. Well, there's no doubt that horrible things await beyond that door. So it might make sense to... 
put up a few little illusions and just make a few other basic preparations. Okay. Like, um... Minor Sequencer. Minor Global Invulnerability. Oh, I meant Skewing Cast spells, too. How about, uh, Bless? Okay. Let's take a peek inside. Oh, wow. Just a few. The central pool is full of fresh, constantly flowing blood from an unknown source. The room is thick with its smell, and there are a lot of vampires in there. Oh dear. I'll get ready for it. I wouldn't uh, get too close. Ah oh, yes, Illusory Carrot is going to be the one acting now. Tis a role I am glad to play. Whatever you need, I do it well. Make way, villainy! Hero coming through! Sing, Herdily, sing! God kicking for the head! Ah, these are just fledgling vampires. Minsk is hacking through them without much difficulty. Every hamster where Minsk goes evil! Oh, wow, look at all those wardens. And there's another vampire over there. Keep singing. I right, gotta focus on that vampire. Alright, we got another one. Let's focus on that over there. Oh wow, that one had a scroll of spell trap on it. We know what this is, both of fighting. Um, huh, okay. Look for traps. Jars and other receptacles here contain things like Preserved hearts and other organs. You. Mm -hmm. I can do to help. At once, your worship. Yan finds armor and a sword over here, and little else of interest. Taking a quick look at the items, I suppose. Flint mail, and a katana. Well, might as well let our expert bard here take a peek at them. Katana plus two. Huh, no particular story behind this one, just a magical katana. And this is ashen scales plus two. Instead of metal strips, this armor uses wyvern scales bound to a chain backing by means of a magical fire. The resulting armor is ash gray in color and more flexible than standard splint mail. A ranger, Usher Skakan, made this armor after slaying several wyverns that were killing all of the deer and elk in his forest. Armor class 2, weight 18. Each strength to use it. Hmm. That is kind of neat concept for an armor. Wyvern uh, scale splint kind of a setup. Uh, would this be better than what Jahira has? No, it wouldn't, unfortunately. It looks neat, but uh, fortunately it's not better than the Oncake Plate. And obviously not better than the Dragon Plate. Oh well. Um, okay, let's see what's in here. One ambush you have survived, but the battle is far from over. Find me upstairs in the Room of Blood and Blades. Just name what you want. 
What is this? This small ship is some form of gondola, subtly humming with a strange energy. Ooh, look for traps. Look for traps and everyone else get outside. No traps. And there's nothing in it. Hmm. I wouldn't dream of refusing. So old Grumpy Pants up there is supposedly going to be hiding in the room of blood and blades on the level above. It just smacks of an ambush, like he's goading us into a <laughs> conditions in which he can better fight us. Surprise, surprise. Oh yes. Well, I think we're going to come into this fight a bit better prepared than he thinks. by just making a few very simple preparations. Okay, that's good. Don't need to polymorph into anything. Uh, resist fire cold? No. Let's get people blessed. And let's get all the armor and other preparations up. Yeah, he surely has something to cast. Let him prove. No, let's actually go with mirrored image. Oh, two magic missiles ready. Okay. And let's just throw in haste for good measure. All right, let's go in there and rush him. Just strike him down as quick as we can. There he is. Think yourself brave enough to stand before me. Perhaps bravery is not enough. That's a bit too heroic for Garrett. <laughs> And that's a bit too blasé. You are on the defensive and yet you taunt. Such gall. The gall is yours to think I am on the defensive when I have led you as a mantis her prey. You will fall here, and your death shall be delicious. For Mistress Bodhi I will eviscerate you. Come, you shall have, she shall have tapestries of your sinew and bone. Come, come to your end. And actually... We know there are spiky traps here, so we are going to try to lure him out. So much for your big damn trap. And now he wants to fight. Fine, we'll fight. Not so powerful after all. Now let's follow this mist, see where it goes. Oh, it went down there. There were other mists that went down in this direction. Let's take a quick look for traps. No. Oh, wow. Apparently they keep stakes around here, too. That seems a little surprising. Okay, what about in here? Oh dear, there seems to be a clay golem there. They are nothing but trouble. Uh, whoa, dear, look out. Smash him, Minsk, smash him! Hey, what is this? What is it? The vampire retreated this coffin once you defeated it. You wooden stake, you can try to kill it. I don't think so. You pound the stake through the vampire's foul heart. The creature shall prey no more on the blood of others. And one vampire still appears to be missing. Alright, we stake another one. Oh, ho, oh, hey, what's this? Jump on my sword while you can, evil. I won't be as gentle. I had hoped it would not come to this. You are set in your path, aren't you? 
And Bodhi herself shows up. 